We're about to change the oil, oil filter, fuel filter, and air filter on the, uh, the 4010 compact. I was going to try to get the John Deere uh, branded stuff, but no, I'm not spending that much money because it's just rebranded stuff anyway. So I went to Napa. Uh, you know, Napa Gold stuff is made by Wix, which is like the best filters. For the air filter, that's the part number. For the fuel filter, that's the part number. And for the oil filter, that's the part number. Of course, I'm using some uh, 15W40 for the engine oil. All right, to drain the oil, of course, there's your dipstick. Your oil fill is right there, that orange, that yellow looking thing. And there's none on top, of course. To get to your oil fill, once you open the hood, of course, you push down on this. And once you lift the hood up, it automatically stays up, it props up. Once your hood is open, your sides can come off. You just grab it. There's one point there, one point there. And when you lift it off, that's the third point right there. That little nub goes in there. It just lifts off. And that's your oil fill, your dipstick. And that's your oil drain right there. All of this is on the right side of the tractor. And that's your filter right there. It's a 1365. And just like I showed you, 1365. All right. If you want to spend more money for some uh, parts that are painted green, by all means, go for it. Uh, or you can save some money and go to an auto parts store. We go both get you a container that can fit on there. I have my big oil bucket there, and I also got the small one, and this should fit right up between the mower deck and the drain. So let's get the oil drained. No. Yeah, that's my wife there. She insists on doing it. So because it's the mower deck is there, what we did was we bent a piece of uh, cardboard and channeled it into the container. As you can see. So the oil is just flowing on down from the drain onto the little spout thing and right into the container. And so the oil is completely drained. Next up, you remove the oil filter. And if you have any issues, you can always use a strap wrench. There you go, it's draining onto the thing. Priming filters is a hot button topic. I like to prime my filters. I fill this thing up, up to the brim. And the filter, the media is soaking up all that oil. So I would rather do this than just start the engine after an oil change with a dry filter. All right, the new oil filter is on. Fresh oil is in it. We checked the level, looks good. Uh, next up, we'll tackle the fuel filter. You got an O and a C, open close. We're gonna close that. Alright, that's closed. And then this should just spin off right here. The big uh, nut holding the bolt on spun off with uh with no issues. It was hand tight like it's supposed to be. And that's it right there. That's the bowl. Make sure the O-ring is on when you're putting it back up. Ours had some uh, debris in the bottom. I cleaned it out a bit. So, the same way you take this off is the same way you're going to take it, um, put the new one back on. This is the old one. So it just pulls off just like that. You notice there's a little raised part in the middle. The bottom doesn't have that. All right? As a matter of fact, you can only put it on one way. So Yeah, this, look, that was in there. Look at that gel, gum up, gummed up stuff. Yeah. All 
Right, for the most part, that is clean. So I'm about to put the new filter on. That's the new filter, raise part, can only go one way. That's it, it just slides on. It's just, it's similar to the oil filter with the little stem, but except this one, it slides on. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, put some diesel in the bowl and then put the bowl back up. You know, the ring, like I said, that's the ring right there. Just hand tighten it, all right? Don't go crazy with it. All right, that's the new fuel filter in there. All right, so new oil, oil filter and fuel filter. Uh, next up, well last, we're gonna do the air filter. To be able to swing this up like that to get the clearance you need from the, uh, the engine inlet for the radiator, you undo this little rubber strap right here. That way you could tilt it up. A bunch of debris in there. And you just clean out any of the large stuff and you slide your own. Um, you slide your new filter on in there and just clamp it back down and put the cap on. All right, so now we feel a little bit better. Fresh oil, oil filter, fuel filter, air filter. The coolant looks fresh, but I'm going to change that anyway. We've got a brand new battery in there. So uh, now you see how to change your oil and oil filter.